In this video, we talk about the inspiring yet challenging journey of Darcy Lynn, the 12-year-old ventriloquist sensation who captured the hearts of millions on America's Got Talent. While her incredible talent propelled her to stardom and made her an overnight celebrity, there's a hidden story of struggle behind the spotlight and applause. Now, at 19, Darcy Lynn has bravely opened up about a deeply personal issue that many fans were unaware of, shedding light on the challenges she faced along the way. Join us as we uncover the shocking revelations from this beloved young star's life. Early Beginnings of Darcy Lynn Darcy Lynn Farmer, born on October 12, 2004, in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, was destined for greatness from a young age. Growing up as the only girl among three brothers, Nick, Dalton, and Nate, Darcy was immersed in a lively and supportive household. Her parents, Clark and Misty Farmer, played a pivotal role in shaping her character and talents, instilling in her a strong sense of confidence and perseverance. Despite her early passion for singing, Darcy struggled with shyness, which made public performances feel daunting. However, her parents' unwavering encouragement helped her overcome this fear and embrace her artistic inclinations. In 2014, Darcy took her first significant step into the spotlight by participating in the International Cinderella Scholarship Program. Her talent shone brightly, earning her the title of International Mini Mississippi. This accomplishment marked a turning point for Darcy, igniting her confidence and fueling her desire to explore new avenues for expression. It was at this contest that she first encountered Lissa Bonacquisti, the international teen champion whose influence introduced Darcy to the world of ventriloquism. Inspired by Lissa's skills and performance, Darcy felt a spark of interest that would lead her down an exciting new path, the path to ventriloquism. In 2014, Darcy entered Edmonds Got Talent, where she showcased her burgeoning ventriloquism skills after a month of dedicated preparation and valuable mentorship from Lissa. Darcy won the top prize, validating her talent and attracting the attention of Gary Owen, a renowned ventriloquism coach. Gary, impressed by Darcy's potential, offered to become both her business manager and trainer, solidifying a partnership crucial to her success. Under Gary's guidance, Darcy honed her ventriloquism skills alongside vocal mentorship from Tiana Plens. With their support, she participated in various talent competitions, quickly amassing accolades. In 2015, she won the junior section of Oklahoma's Got Talent and the Oklahoma Kids Competition. Additionally, she secured awards for Broadway Specialty Acts and Entertainer of the Year at the American Kids event in Branson, Missouri. Despite her growing accomplishments, Darcy juggled her education, attending Deer Creek Middle School in Edmond before transitioning to homeschooling in eighth grade to focus on her career. At 19, Darcy Lynn finally opened up about the day her world nearly crumbled. It wasn't just another major performance. It was a moment that rattled her to her core. Then Simon Cowell stepped in, not as the hard-nosed judge everyone knows, but in a way that no one saw coming. This pivotal day changed Darcy Lynn's life forever. Simon Cowell played a crucial role in her journey. Darcy, a sweet, young ventriloquist who captured America's heart, achieved instant fame after earning the golden buzzer. But let's be honest, it wasn't all confetti and puppet magic. Beneath the polished act lay a whirlwind of challenges no one could see. She worked tirelessly to reach her goals, but one explosive moment nearly made her quit, something that could have changed everything people thought they knew about her. Even Simon, often seen as the ruthless businessman, was deeply involved in her story. After her big win, Simon's psycho music welcomed Darcy as part of his lineup alongside stars like One Direction and Little Mix. With ventriloquism as a fresh twist, she became his ticket to adding a wholesome touch to the roster. For a time, it worked. Darcy gained countless opportunities, from collaborating with top producers to appearing on major shows. However, the reality wasn't as glamorous as it seemed. Behind the flawless appearances and perfectly executed routines was chaos, meticulous planning, relentless rehearsals, and people telling her how to speak, act, and even smile. Her golden buzzer moment remains iconic, but it wasn't as effortless as it appeared. Every move, beat, and note had been rehearsed to the point of exhaustion. While audiences saw a confident girl performing with her puppet sidekick, she was juggling countless mental tasks to ensure perfection. 
All that effort culminated in just a few seconds of glitter raining down on her head. Darcy had to continually evolve to avoid becoming another where are they now story. She introduced new characters, crafted fresh routines, and found innovative ways to keep audiences engaged in an age of fleeting attention spans. Despite the pressures, she stayed grounded. While it would have been easy to become overwhelmed by fame, she remained thankful, kept smiling, and embraced the challenges. Even when her puppets felt like an unbearable burden, could she leave ventriloquism behind someday? Maybe. But for now, it was her defining trait. The unique hook that set her apart in a world of gimmicks and trends. And she wasn't ready to abandon her golden ticket just yet. Even Simon, known for his snark, showed surprising kindness during her journey. He once visited a terminally ill fan, not for publicity but out of genuine care, alongside musician Richard Goodall. That act of compassion revealed a softer side to the often sharp-tongued judge. Darcy's story isn't just about a girl and her puppets. It's about grit, resilience, and growth. She learned to endure tough love from mentors, humbly accepted guidance despite being treated like a star, and understood that every smile on stage came with sacrifices behind the scenes. The entertainment world is unforgiving, where you're only as good as your last act, and even her puppets had to be flawless. Behind the spotlight, Darcy navigated the relentless grind of fame as a teenager. Endless rehearsals, emotional highs and lows, and the desire for a normal life often clashed with her career demands. Public expectations required her to maintain the cheerful image people remembered, even when she was exhausted. Fame brought its share of burdens, constant appearances, creating new content, and balancing her personal growth with professional obligations. While her peers worried about schoolwork and weekend plans, Darcy juggled high-pressure performances and an image carefully curated by her team. Her manager, Gary Owen, played a significant role, not just as a ventriloquism mentor, but as someone ensuring her brand remained polished and marketable. Every photo shoot, interview, and social media post was part of a larger strategy to keep her career thriving. Through it all, Darcy found stability in her family. Unlike many young stars who become isolated, she maintained strong ties with her loved ones. Her mother wasn't just her manager, but also a constant source of support, reminding her of her identity beyond the fame. Her family kept her grounded, giving her the strength to persevere during challenging times. Even her puppets, as demanding as they were, became a source of comfort. Each character represented a piece of herself helping her navigate the whirlwind of a career that few could handle at her age. Darcy's journey is a testament to skill, perseverance, and the importance of staying true to what makes you unique, even when the applause fades. Post-AGT, Darcy's victory opened doors to countless opportunities. Her first major appearance was on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, where she charmed viewers with her infectious personality and talent. She also featured in Jeff Dunham's film The Haunted House on Dunham Hill, performing with her puppets alongside Jeff's iconic characters. Darcy's fame grew, leading to performances at prestigious events, including a special appearance at Terry Fader's show at Tulsa's Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Terry, the second AGT winner, mentored Darcy, enriching her skills as a performer. Darcy also returned to Little Big Shots, reflecting on her journey and expressing gratitude for the opportunities she'd been given. Rather than a Las Vegas residency, Darcy embarked on a nationwide tour, Darcy Lynn and Friends Live. Originally planned for five locations, it expanded to 52 shows due to overwhelming demand, showcasing her ability to connect with audiences across the country. The challenges behind the spotlight. Despite her success, Darcy's journey wasn't without challenges. Transitioning from a talented child performer to a young adult in the entertainment industry brought immense pressure. Darcy faced scrutiny and intense public expectations while navigating her personal growth. In recent years, she has opened up about struggles with anxiety and the impact of social media on her mental health. Negative comments and criticism tested her resilience. However, instead of crumbling, Darcy used her experiences to foster a deeper connection with her audience, prioritizing her mental well-being and advocating for authenticity. Darcy's ability to balance fame with personal growth speaks volumes about her resilience. Her journey, though challenging, continues to inspire fans worldwide, proving that she is much more than her trophies or puppets. 
She's a symbol of determination and grace. Balancing fame with a normal childhood wasn't easy. While other kids were stressing over lunch table dynamics or weekend plans, she was jetting off for interviews, rehearsals, or performances. There was no time for mall hangouts or school carnivals. Her life revolved around maintaining her public image, ensuring every puppet trick was flawless, and juggling the demands of stardom. Fame put her in a bubble, caught between two worlds, the kid she was and the celebrity people expected her to be. That bubble could be isolating. Friends couldn't fully understand her experiences, and she often felt alone. Growing up famous meant grappling with pressures regular teens couldn't imagine, like questioning if her best days were already behind her or worrying about staying relevant in a competitive industry. Through it all, Darcy found ways to stay grounded. Her family was her support system, keeping her rooted when fame threatened to overwhelm. They reminded her of who she was beyond the stage lights. Her parents played dual roles as caregivers and managers, helping her navigate a world where every moment seemed to demand more from her. By 19, she'd come to see fame for what it truly was, a mix of opportunity and burden. At 12, it might have felt like a thrilling chance to share her talent, but as she grew, she realized it came with complexities. The industry's relentless nature meant she had to keep reinventing herself, fighting to stay in the spotlight while battling the fear of being forgotten. Despite these challenges, she's still here, still performing, still finding joy in her craft. That resilience is perhaps her most impressive quality, not the puppets or trophies, but her ability to stay true to herself through it all. The real challenge isn't making a puppet talk, it's making sure her own voice remains heard. Her story is far from over. Whether she continues with ventriloquism or ventures into new territory, what matters is that she's carving her own path. For years, she lived up to others' expectations. Now, it's her time to decide what she truly wants. As for Simon Cowell's role in her journey, whether he was a genuine supporter or a shrewd opportunist, that's up for debate. What's clear is that Darcy's story is one of perseverance, growth, and a determination to keep shining, no matter where life takes her.